Welcome back everyone to Larry and Amy's Kitchen. This is the second part of the pumpkin bar. Uh, uh, it took me 25 minutes to bake and this is what, how it turned out and it is done in the middle. I have poked holes in it and now we're getting ready to make this and this is the icing. You will need cream cheese, um, vanilla, sugar, and I got it on a piece of paper so I remember. A fourth cup of soft butter. Can you please go this way? And I almost forgot soft butter. How oh, dare I? Thought. <laughs> I thought I was prepared. But it won't take me a minute to get some soft butter. A fourth of a cup. And I will have everything in the description that I use to make this with. This looks and smells so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy to my tummy. Alright, there's the butter. Now, I'm going to mix this all together. If you all have ever made this before, let me know how you like it. If you've never made it before and you plan on making it, let me know how you like it. We, especially me and my daughter, love anything pumpkin. Pumpkin pies, pumpkin rolls. But to me, this is just like pumpkin rolls. I absolutely love anything that calls for cream cheese. I love that cream cheese icing. Like I said, this has got uh, cream cheese in it. It has got some butter in it. It has got a little bit of vanilla and some powdered sugar. so good. If you're anything like when you as a kid, you want to take the beaters and just lick them and eat the, all that goodness off of there. Ooh. Okay, I'm stand this up. I hope that is that in your way of seeing. Mm. Okay. And then I'm going to make a plop right there. And this, you probably should have let it cool down like a lot. But me, I'm still like an overgrown child when my stuff comes out, even like my brownies when they first come out of the oven. I want them hot with a glass of milk. So this icing may be runny. <laughs> but you know what? I'm making this for me and my family. And we just like however it tastes more than us than the looks. And believe you me, if this tastes like a pumpkin roll, it is going to be awesome. And how can you go wrong with cream cheese icing, y'all? I don't think you can. So it's going to be more liquidy because you know me. <laughs> I have to put it on when it comes out. And you may fix it and say totally different. I want mine perfect or I want like mine after it cools. That's fine. You do you. That's why this is so simple. Easy to make. You just do you. 
you're the one that's going to be eating it, you're the one that's going to be happy. That's all that matters. It's already mounting. Got a little bit of a little sink over there. But it's okay. All that matters is that you learned a, learned a new recipe. Maybe. Maybe I taught you something. Maybe you already knew about it. Maybe this is a big hit in your family. This is our very first time creating this. But like I said, when I seen the ingredients me and my daughter were on board and yes it could turn out better because the cream cheese is all melty and gooey but that's what we like mm -hmm. so here you have it the pumpkin bar cream cheese icing dessert and you know me i'm not a pro that I want to get my piece. And I'll show you what it looks like too. It's so darn delicious. It's the aroma that comes from it is out of this world. And if you love pumpkin and cream cheese awesome. This is a huge piece of cake, I know. But I'm just gonna show you. The first piece always crumbles on me. So there you go. Look how delicious. There'll be no complaints in this house, I promise. Okay, until next time. Thank you all.